The second half of your life. The second half of your life is inspired by the book Managing Oneself by Peter Drucker. And in the past, people had to work jobs where work meant manual labor. And this particular work was physically really hard. And when you finally got to the retirement age, you were so tired and your joints would hurt so much that all you wanted to do for the rest of your life is just sit on the couch and do nothing at all. For most people, work meant physically hard manual labor back then. People didn't even dare to think about the second half of their lives for even one second. And if you were lucky enough to make it to your retirement age, you were extremely happy that you didn't have to do anything anymore for the remainder part of your life, which were just a few years back then. Nowadays, it's quite different. Now when you retire, you are facing a couple of decades of pure loneliness, in which you can literally be bored to death. Back in the day, those last few years weren't that boring at all, because it was only a few years until you would die. But now, when you retire at the age of 65 and the life expectancy is at least 80 and maybe even 120 by the time we get old, you will be so bored of doing nothing. And that is why you should think about the second part of your life. You need to develop a second career and there are three ways you can do this. The first one is really pretty simple. The first one is actually just start one. When you're done with your current job and you want to quit, just start a new one. Start a second career. There are many people who have achieved modest success in their first job that start a second career. And these types of people have substantial skills and they know how to work and they need a community. And the house is empty because the children are gone and building their own lives is pretty much where they live for. And little money is always welcome to these people. And above all, they need a challenge. The second way of developing a second career uh, is develop a parallel career. Many people stay in their old jobs because they like that. They stay in their old jobs because that is their comfort zone and they are too scared to break out of it. And even if people don't like their job anymore, they keep the job because it's their comfort zone. And keeping a job is a decision and quitting your job is also a decision. So what your job is really is make the right decision, make the right one. Don't be scared to break out of your comfort zone. Be scared of staying in your comfort zone. You need to be scared of staying there. Your parallel job can be on a full-time, part-time or consulting basis, whatever you like. But in addition to that, take a side hustle, perhaps in a non-profit sector or if you like reading as much as we do, work as a librarian in the local public library, for example, right? And the third way, if you are a social entrepreneur, you also need to develop a parallel career next to your business. Most people that are in the third group of social entrepreneurs miss the challenge in their work and they do not see the meaning in it anymore. They do not see the light at the end of the tunnel. And what you can do, for example, is to start to teach your skills that you have learned throughout your life to young entrepreneurs that are eager to learn and are eager to start a business, just like we are, for example. So develop a second career and start thinking about it right now. Thanks for your attention and as always, get your ass into action.